We're Anne and Eve. After living and working in Thailand for two years, we decided it was time for a change. We've dusted our bags and we'll take you along on our journey. Hi, from Earth Quest in Ayutthaya. But not for long, we are ready to leave to Lobbury about one hour south. We're going to take the motorbike and spend the weekend there. Two nights we're going to visit Khmer temples, present day temples. Uh, we're going to enjoy the nature, have some good food. And as usual, we take you along with us. Lopburi, Thailand's monkey city, is only around 70 km away from Ayutthaya. Perfect to go there by bike. If you're in a hurry, you can visit Lopburi in one day. But we decide to stay overnight and have plenty of time to visit the city and its surroundings. Only 20 minutes on the road and you already have to stop if you don't want to be stopping wet. August is rainy season, so we know what to expect. After another 20 minutes, rain still falls, but mostly in a drizzle. Time to move on. After another hour, we arrive in Lopburi, a city in central Thailand known for its rich history and many temples. Unfortunately, we arrive in the middle of rush hour. Lopburi is best known for the numerous hungry macaques terrorizing the city streets and Khmer temples dating back to the 13th century. We are here in front of Sam Prasamyo or the monkey temple and there are quite a few monkeys uh, compared to a few years ago population probably doubled or tripled have to keep an eye on them because it has been attacked earlier uh, don't expect a leisurely visit to this temple because you're attacked or harassed every five seconds by these monkeys. As in every Thai city, Lobori has his own night market. The place to find freshly prepared food when you're not a vegan. They have a small museum here behind me. I had already a quick glance inside and it's rather scary. Some mummified corpses. This museum wants to show us that our body is only a cover. There's no me. Our mind controls everything. Time to leave those mummies behind us and see what this temple compound has to offer. These 
stairs will lead us to the temple on top of the mountain, surrounded by shy monkeys. We finally made it to the top of the mountain where we have a nice view of the plains surrounding Lobbury. You can see the temple roofs, it's very quiet here. The only sound you hear are the noises of the monkeys in the trees. It's very calming here. And the weather is not that bad either. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of place. You hear the noise, monkeys? It's time to get out of here. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah. Slippery. Still building a huge temple with a massive Buddha statue inside. The temple is not yet finished. We still have to begin with the flooring. But this hall is huge. And of course, again, that view over the plains. We are now in front of the hospital at the back of the compound where they take care of HIV patients. A lot of volunteers are helping here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the nurses invited us inside but we declined. It's not a thing to do. Uh, no, it doesn't feel right. It's a bit awkward to have a look at those people. It's not a zoo. It's no, no, no. people who get treated. Uh, but before we leave we make sure we make a donation, right? Of course. Now we take the beautiful back roads to go to our next stop. Next stop today is Lobori Peacock Temple. A uh, temple up the mountain and Peacock Temple of course is known for its peacocks strolling around these premises. Turn around, turn around for YouTube. Thank you. Another temple, another flight of stairs. Let's try this one. Number 300, and oh, having so much fun! It's hard, still can't see the end, so maybe 100, 200 steps more. No idea. We made the 369 steps. We have some more, not to yet go. there. First viewpoint.
After climbing these steps, we are rewarded with amazing views of the surrounding area. So green. We love this view. Finally we made it. 436 steps. Sweating a lot. Luckily it's not that sunny today. Otherwise it would be much harder. It's very quiet here. The only sound you can hear is the sound of the dogs, peacocks and roosters. Otherwise no sounds, only nature sounds. Worth the effort, definitely. Next stop on our trip today is the Sublac Reservoir. Already visible from here, from the top of the mountain. We hope to have lunch there. We made it back down in one piece. Drenched in sweat. All you have to do now is survive the angry dogs. Jump on the motorbike and go to the Sublac Reservoir. The small roads are such fun to drive, hardly any traffic. We're at the Sublac Reservoir now, very low level, although it's already mid-August, so middle of the rainy season. Not a lot of water. Wanted to have lunch here. But that was not possible, they couldn't make any vegetarian lunch. But I think they are sometimes just afraid, they don't know no. to give, what to give a foreigner. Yeah, it happens every now and then when we ask, when you go to non-touristy places and you ask people to make a vegan or a vegetarian lunch, even if you ask them Thai, mm -hmm. no half. But those people are friendly, it's not that they that are not friendly people. So. Yeah. So but we, they had soda and Coke, Pepsi, so. Lunch, Pepsi. Pepsi, cheers. <laughs> Lobori suffers from a lack of water during the dry season. To deliver water to the city, they constructed the sub lac reservoir in the 17th century. We stopped at the roadside restaurant to eat some green veggies. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. stir-fried morning glory and stir-fried mimosa. Mimosa. A lot of pepper, very tasty. Mm. Very peppery. Pepper and garlic. Our last visit of the day is the Passac Jean Lassit Dam. Located around 53 km from Lobbury, this is the biggest reservoir in central Thailand that provides hydroelectric power. This place is one of the top tourist spots in Lobbury, so a lot of photo opportunities. Our day in Lavoy with veg spring rolls in Nome restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite place to come in Lavoy. We're tired after a whole day on the motorbike, but with good food, excellent day. I agree.
before returning to Ayutthaya, I have to pay a quick visit to the National Museum here in Lobori, the King Narai Palace. King Narai was a king of former kingdom of Ayutthaya and he spent up to nine months a year here in this palace. The two main buildings have several exhibitions telling the history of this palace, the Ayutthaya Kingdom and the region. This isn't going to be a quick visit after all. I think we will have spent here at least two hours. It's well worth a visit. Nice artifacts, well explained in English. Uh, very well preserved, very well maintained gardens. It's a highlight, it's an unexpected highlight of this weekend in Lobury. Uh, normal entrance price is about 150 baht, which might seem quite steep for Thai standards, but actually it's if you pay 150 baht, it's well spent. It's worth every penny. Hello. Hello. It's worth every penny or every satang. Welcome to Thailand. Thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see our future videos. Thanks for watching.